Welcome back to the Phoebe Way. On the last video, in the last video, we talked about where the racism happens and the times or the stages where the racism happens in the German school. So we talked about the teachers, individual teachers, marking your kids down for, for you not to know like what is happening. And also when it comes to the recommendations, when it comes to when your child is going to the Weiterführenden Schule, also Gymnasium Realschule, Hauptschule, when you'll make the recommendations and they would want to put your child in a school that is lower than your child's abilities. That is, um, those are the major times that the racism happen and oral grades because those ones are not so transparent for outsiders to see when, how these grades are made and all of that. So how do you counteract this and when it happens? I'll say that the how you counteract this racism problem in school is actually it's done once your child starts school so it, it's not when it happens that you actually start but most of the is it prepared i don't want to say be prepared for racism because also, that's also not the way to live but it is our reality but this these things i'm going to talk about are not just about tackling racism or counteracting to racism but also making sure that your child has the best and successful academic life that they can have in Germany, okay? Um, the number one thing is be a proactive par parent. Being a proactive parent means that you are going to educate yourself on the German school system to know how the German school system works and what is expected of your child. So you know that, okay, for my child to go to gymnasium, maybe my child would have to have a zwei comma average. My child needs to have specific extracurricular activities that would also serve when it comes to him um you know going to university later and everything so you plan your child's school life and academic life with your child i'm saying with your child because um some of the african parents are fond of putting pressure on the children and doing what the child actually does not want to do so please plan with the child so that you know what your child's interests are or is and you can hone those interests and those um, talents and make it better for your child, actually. Okay, so that is one thing. Sorry, I'm actually filming in the car, so it's raining. And this is the time I've allocated to this, because if not, I won't be able to mix. Let me stop and put um, the microphone on so that the sound quality will be better. I'll be right back. Now, you being proactive and finding out what is required of your child. And being proactive also means that you would familiarize yourself with the education system as in how are the grades made, what is, what, what, um, what, how is the oral grade done, how, how, much, how many points do you need to have, like an A, a B, a C, a D, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When man 50% the Punkte hat, ist das eine 4. When man mehr Punkte hat, was dann eine 3, eine 3,5, 3,75, was eine 4 plus. You have to know how the points are made and like calculated as well because obviously no school here so you wouldn't know these things so yeah familiarize yourself with the system so it'll be easier for you to also have arguments in case of words in kct so once you have the arguments um out yes that's another thing the next thing is that not only should you familiarize yourself with the german school system but also familiarize yourself with the german culture now this plays in two ways one um since it's going to help your child's academic success and have your child also have the feeling that i belong so when, when your child knows that i belong and it is my right to be here there's no not much difference between me and my um classmates because i'm hiking um i know the foods i know whatever that is happening because i remember in my case i felt like why am I coming to school and it's not jollof in my school box like the way it was in Ghana, but it is bread. bread. So at some point I was taking bread and egg to school because that bread and ham was not doing it for me. So to me, those things were snacks. It's today that I can take urban brot and I'm going to be full. But those days I was worried. If you don't put labor case there, it will not fill my tummy. So I always thought that my German friends, they were different. It took me a long while to assimilate and adapt, okay? So if your child is born here, um, let them also know that those things are okay. African food is also okay, but it is not this one is better than this, no. But when they are going to school, 
find ways to make them feel that they are not all too different. I, I hope it makes sense. Okay. And also, um, invest in your child's school books, school activities, like even the, the, the um, fresh pot dozer that they'll take to school. Make sure that it is of good quality. You don't buy the cheapest ones and all of that. All these things um, make your child's confidence in school and his self-awareness. It's, 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 it's different. It's simply different, okay? I'm telling you this because I was a child in that position. I've been a child in that position before, so I'm, I can tell you this, that these things make it easier for, for us when we know that we are just the same, literally. That's all I want to say. So that is one thing. So knowing the German culture and helping your child in this German culture is one thing. Number two, you know, in the German culture would require you to also make friends with Germans. And that is how you are, you'll be able to learn those things that I talked about in point one, that you know how the German education system works. Because who would you ask? Google will not tell you everything. So you have to ask people to make sure that your experiences are really out of order the way you are seeing it. So you have to have some people to compare with. And that is where, um, in my case, it wasn't the same because I was only like talking about it with my parents and i don't recall my parents talking to other german parents about it because if they had things would have been different it was my brother who talked to his colleagues like his classmates about it and then his classmates would also tell their parents and then that's how the thing got to elton Bayard, and this thing you know kind of this problem was solved okay that was four years later but if my parents then had talked to other parents other german parents about this situation and not be like oh um, we don't talk about problems and everything. No, no, no. Be open and look for solutions with by talking to other parents. And that's when you know that, yes, my child is really being treated differently. And this was the expectation. So sometimes, yes, I'll talk about that too. This is what was expected from the child in this exam. And my child only did 80% of it. That's why he has a, a two minus or something. This is how you, you would approach it. So the first thing would be for you to, approach the situation objectively and when you see that okay the discrepancies are too much then you want to ask why and then racism becomes the you that's that's when racism becomes obvious as the answer okay good so we talked about familiarizing yourself with the german school system so we've talked about knowing the german culture and also having german friends or their yeah, german counterparts who you would have and ask to have something to compare with Good. Number three is make sure your correspondence is written. So when you go there, sometimes you wouldn't have um, the time. Even sometimes when you want to go there, the teachers don't really have that much time. Okay. So write your email and ask. When I talk to her, this and this gemacht. Um, wie war das Erwartungshorizont? Sie ist mit dem Ergebnis nicht zufrieden. Just ask. And if the teacher does not have any ulterior motive, they would answer you. Okay, the teachers will answer you. They don't have any ulterior motives. They'll let you know that this and this and this was missing. That is why the child did that. But if they cannot answer and they're beating about the bush, whew, then what do you do? Principal, next. Principal, next. And the written email or everything is your what? Evidence. Yeah. One thing too is that you should make sure that you as the parents show up as the parents. And not with your child as the mediator or interpreter or all that. Because the narrative is that um, African children come from weaker backgrounds when it comes to German language, when it comes to whether the children, the parents are educated or not. So when you go and have the child act as an mediator, one, it puts a toll on the child. And two, it does not help matters. So what I would say is that go with another adult as an interpreter so that the, the teacher knows that the mother or the parents are invested in this situation and they are going about it as adults as adults okay so you go there with an interpreter or as i said when you're writing the emails you can have someone have a look over them so that you are giving a fully um competent front to the teacher that is it and always remember that you would always um consider your child's interests your child's abilities because you know your child best but please don't overburden your child just because you want your child to go to the gymnasium because gymnasium is not the 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 only place your child can excel. Your child can still go to Real Schule and do Fach Abi, um, Wirtschafts Gymnasium. They can even do gymnasium that is specific to their interest after they finish Real Schule and still enter university, okay? It is all possible. So I hope this video helps. 
And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you have done in your case that has helped your children. And yeah, let's, let's talk about this and thanks for watching. And we'll talk about other topics as well pretty soon. And yeah, have a blessed day. Bye.